Hey guys, in this video, I'm just gonna show you how you can configure a default gateway on a layer two and layer three Cisco switch. So I have a topology here, just a very basic topology, a host connected to a layer two switch. And this layer two, is, two switch is connected to the core switch. So this is the layer three uh, switch in this case. And this layer three switch is connected to the router or, or edge from this network. And of course, the router is connected to the internet. I have these notes here that you can actually use. So before you actually configure a default gateway on a switch, you have to verify whether that switch has IP routing enabled or not or in other words, whether it supports IP routing or not. So you, uh, to verify it, you can use this command. So what you are looking here, I mean, what you're looking for here is basically if this, actually it's called, I think it's fine. Looking for the, so I'm, let's say I'm on switch one, right? I mean, I'm on switch one, and for me to verify whether it supports routing, I can use this command. So I actually went ahead and disabled uh, IP routing on the switch. So, but in real world, if you don't see this command here, uh, it means that the switch or device does not support IP routing. IP routing, and you can also use this command here. So you, when when you see this, when you see this output, it means that the default gateway is not set, and uh, the device is a layer two device. Let me add this as well here. This command, and I, if I check the other switch, let's say the core switch, I'm on the core switch here. So let, switch one, that this that switch and core this is that core switch and edge that's the this is the core i mean the edge or router well it's actually a layer 3 switch as well okay so if i check if i issue this command on the core switch i don't see it because ip routing is enabled on a layer 3 uh, device, but if you actually um, like, if you remove it, you will know that it's removed. But you don't usually do it, so it should be should be enabled. So this is just a you know a <clears throat> this is just a I'm doing this, of course, in a, a virtual environment, in this case, EVNG, but in real, in real world, you would see this command uh, in the running, in the show running uh, configuration or output. Okay, so enter that. And if I do this command, show IP route, I see that it has a, a routing table. This is what it be called routing table. And this is what you would see in a layer two uh, device. And of course, this router should have a routing table as well. Okay, let me go ahead and configure the default route, I mean default gateway on switch one, which is layer two switch, this in our case. But before I do that, let me just show you the IP configurations between these devices. So switch one has a VLAN one and has this IP address. I mean, SVI VLAN one and has this IP address slash 24. And if I go to the core switch, it has a SVI as well and has this IP address and on the edge, SVI VLAN one and has this IP address. So these switches or devices has connectivity between each other. 
see if I try to ping from switch one and try to ping this I can ping everyone so let me go ahead and configure the default gateway on switch one so the default gateway should be this IP address you know what let me type it manually so IP default gateway and the gateway is the edge router or actually not actually the def the edge router in this case this should be the core so the the core IP address is 129 and save and on the core the default uh, this is how you configure a a um, Yeah, this is how you configure a default route, and the gate the the, uh, the gateway is the router IP address or this edge IP address. And the way you configure a default route is by doing this command and 10.1. Let me verify the number of ones. Yeah, correct. Okay. And then, of course, you can use you can use this command to verify the la, the gateway of last resort, which is this. I just uh, did that configuration here, and point. It's saying that to get to this network, you have to go to this IP address or device. And if I go to switch one and show the same command it says the default gateway is this IP address which is the core switch yeah so that's how you can configure a default gateway on um, Cisco or layer 2 and layer 3 Cisco switches so again you have to first verify whether the, the device support IP routing and if it doesn't you have to configure this command if it if it does you have to just configure this command all right so i hope that's clear okay thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one